Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a common concern among Android users. Issues with Android Auto on the latest Android 13. If you've been scratching your head wondering why it's not working as expected, you're in the right place. Let's jump right into the troubleshooting steps to get Android Auto back on track. Fix 1. Checking Compatibility First things first, make sure your car's head unit is compatible with Android Auto. Compatibility issues can sometimes lead to glitches. Consult your car's manual or the manufacturer's website for confirmation. Fix 2. Android Auto App Update. Ensure that your Android Auto app is up to date. Head over to the Google Play Store, search for Android Auto, and hit that update button if available. An outdated app might be the culprit behind the connectivity problems. Fix 3. Android 13 System Update Check for the latest Android 13 system updates. Manufacturers often release patches and improvements that can fix bugs affecting third-party apps like Android Auto. Go to Settings, System, and then Software Update to ensure your device is running the latest software. Fix 4. USB Cable Connection The USB cable is the lifeline for Android Auto. Try using a different cable to rule out any issues. Also, make sure to connect your device to a high-quality USB port on your car's head unit. Sometimes, a faulty cable or port can lead to connectivity hiccups. Fix 5. App Permissions Double-check the app permissions. Android Auto needs specific permissions to function correctly. Head to Settings, Apps, Android Auto, and ensure that it has access to necessary features like location, contacts, and microphone. Fix 6. Reinstall Android Auto If all else fails, try uninstalling and reinstalling the Android Auto app. This can resolve software glitches that might be hindering its performance. So there you have it our troubleshooting guide for Android Auto issues on Android 13. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more tech tips, and share your experiences or questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay tech savvy.